when we were little, um, you know, we of course like to play down on the sea ice. My mother used to say, don't go down to the sea ice. She said, under the sea ice, there live these ugly creatures. One night, I told my boys a story about them, and they said, Dad, why don't you write it down? And when I was finished writing it, I read it to them, and they said, it's really scary. <laughs> why don't you have it made into a book? That was my very first story um, uh, to my boys. I am from Rankin Inlet in Nunavut. I'm a storyteller, and I also write books for children. After that first book was published, I decided we have all these very important stories that need to be told. My most favorite story in the whole world was the one that goes like this. And that was the shortest story I have ever heard. You know, a lot of people say, you know, you should write those stories down, the traditional legends. And sure, you know, I do that. To keep the culture, the tradition of storytelling alive, you have to actually go out and do it. The most wonderful thing is to sit in front of an audience and tell these stories and watch them. I called my oldest boy last night and I was talking to him on the phone and, and he said, you know, Dad, um, <clears throat> your grandson will not go to sleep at night until after I have read him The Littlest Sled Dog. Like, <laughs> you know, how much... Uh, more beautiful can that be? And I wrote these stories for my boys, and now I'm writing them for my grandchildren. And there can't be anything more beautiful than that.